All right, the government's website for at-home COVID tests has debuted. Yahoo Finance senior healthcare reporter Anjali Kamani has more on this. Anjali. That's right, Brian. So today is the day that we know is supposed to be the full launch of that at-home COVID testing site, covidtest.gov. We saw a soft rollout yesterday and of course, as expected, some glitches there. Reports of individuals who live in multifamily homes like apartments or condos having trouble ordering if someone else who already lives in the building ordered one. And so we've seen that USPS has taken action, asked for complaints to be filed, um, as well as call-ins to help figure out the situation. Uh, the, the reports were uh, very few and far between. So largely speaking, uh, many people reporting that it was really quick and easy to get those. Meanwhile, today, we're expected to hear from President Joe Biden uh, discussing uh, ongoing response to the pandemic, and that includes rolling out free N95 masks to Americans through retail pharmacies, as well as community uh, health centers. And those are the same sites where we know vaccines were distributed through. That's uh, 400 million N95 masks from the national stockpile, which as of January, uh, has uh, sent more than 750 million. And it's really the largest deployment of personal protective equipment in the United States history. We're seeing that shipments are starting this week and arrivals to these sites uh, probably late next week through February when the program is expected to be in full swing. And Anjali, we've been in this for a long time now because uh, two years ago, this week is when the first COVID case in the United States was discovered, was reported, was confirmed. Um, and as part of our coverage of that unfortunate anniversary, you had the chance to speak with Anthony Fauci about all of this. What stood out to you? Well, we talked about a lot of things, uh, really. Um, but one thing I asked him specifically was whether or not he expected that we would be here um, at this point in time. And here's what he had to say. Well, I think virtually everyone thought that when we had a vaccine as effective and safe as the vaccines we'd have now, that we would get enough people vaccinated that we would handle the variant that we were dealing with and that we would have a diminution of infection, not only in the United States, but hopefully if we were able to get vaccines to the lower middle income countries, that we could also essentially get our arms around, as it were, the pandemic globally. The things that were not anticipated uh, was the extraordinary capability of have multiple sequential waves of new variants so as you can hear a lot there, specifically looking at, uh, you know, what was unexpected and how this virus really surprised the top public health officials in the country, but also in the world. Back to you. Anjali Kamani, thanks so much.